Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on eight. I've got a semi-new gun. I don't think we've ever shot that. I've ever shot this one over here before. We're going to look at it. <clears throat> before we get started, let me talk about this. The Bergen Gun Range is two ranges. There's a rifle range and a pistol range. It is a community range open to the public by permission only. It's on private property and there's no range fees or anything like that. The landowner simply allows people to shoot guns on his property for recreation and sporting purposes. Okay, so that's what the Bergen Gun Range is. This is the range I'm on is called the Upper and it is pistol shotgun. Uh, rim fire, muzzle loader, uh, that sort of thing. No high powered rifles. But I see a lot of these laying over here. And I see a fair amount of 5.56s five, and blackouts and so forth. Here's the thing uh, this ammunition, this is the 7.62 by 54R copper, copper plated. It's also copper plated bullet, steel case, steel core, steel cartridge case. Uh, if you see this ammunition for sale and you've got a Mosin the Gaunt rifle, don't shoot it through it. That's all there is to it. Just don't shoot this style of ammunition through a Mosin the Gaunt because it's not intended for a Mosin the Gaunt. It's intended for a PKM light machine gun, which is a considerably more high pressure round than a conventional Mosin Nagant round, 7.62 by 54R. The brass case stuff, <coughs> the gray metal case stuff, uh, the greenish looking Chinese stuff, and so on and so forth, fine, it's intended for rifle. But the copper washed bullet, copper washed case, steel core, steel jacketed bullet, steel core bullet, um, you know, steel cartridge case stuff of that type is intended for the PKM light machine gun and the various medium and heavy machine guns they have in those calibers. It's machine gun ammo. It's designed to be shoot 3,000 yards, you know, not 500 meters like a normal Mosin the Gaunt round would be designed to shoot at. All right, there you go. Let's talk about this. The SP-101 Ruger in blue. Imagine that, blued. You hardly ever see these guys in blue. You almost always see them in stainless steel. This one is a Ruger SP-101 caliber 357 Magnum. And it has something on the dust cover here basically telling you to read the warning labels and man manufacturer's manual and so forth. It has the standard SP-101 composite grip where it's rubber with wooden panels. And the wooden panels appear to be some type of rosewood and are laser engraved. It has a five shot double action revolver. And the 101s have a solid ejector rod mechanism as opposed to the hollow ejector rod mechanism that, that uh, the GP 101s have. So it's made a little bit better. It's a pretty good gun, I think it is. Um, my cousin Ed bought this gun and he wanted the front sight ramp highlighted which it took it like four days to cure, so now it's good and cured and uh, uh, looks pretty good. What is it? Well, you can get this little vial of sight paint that's about the size of a 30 caliber carbine oiler and you can put it on there and it looks real good until you shoot it about 35, 40 times and then it simply, the muzzle blast simply blows it off there. I found that this product that's on here works really well for a front sight uh, blaze coating. What is it you say? We're all standing on stitches. 
it's testers model airplane paint is exactly what it is. Comes in a little glass bottle, testers model airplane paint. And it holds really well. You know, it holds on there good. Now you've got to degrease it. Clean your surface area really well. I use methyl ethyl ketone or espinol alcohol in a Q-tip and let it air dry. And then I apply the site paint to it, the testers model airplane paint, and it works really well. Well, okay, what is it? Well, it's a two and a quarter inch barrel gun, 357 Magnum. Basic a seven yard personal defense revolver. What makes it a seven yard gun? Well, it's not a four inch, so it's not a 15 yard gun. It's a two inch, so it's a seven yard gun. And we're gonna try that concept right here at seven yards with some of the 158 grain round nose lead 38 specials at 1150 feet per second that I have loaded. Give me some ear mufflers on before I forget to do it. Warning to YouTube, I am installing my suppressor. <laughs> Let's put about five in there and see how it shoots seven yards. Now I say seven yards because if you're 15 yards away from an assailant and he's not running up on you, you've got an adequate enough reactionary gap to decide something else besides shooting. You know, shooting is not always the answer. I mean, you know, that's simple as that. That's why I carry a blackjack. Shooting ain't always the answer. Let's see how it shoots at seven yards. Come on, punch out, are you? I'm looking at it. I'm not real happy with it. Let's try about five more on double action. Hmm, nose dived on that one. Don't know where it went. It's a little gun. You can feel it in your hand. All right, let's go up and see how we shot. Or how I shot, or how that old ubiquitous hand cramps treating me. Let's get a hand cramp when I shoot these small frame revolvers. That was 10. I see what 10 looks like. Well, on a B-21 target, they'd all be in center mass good. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's not too bad. Pretty good accuracy for two inch power revolver at seven yards. Why would I have one of these over a regular 38 special two inch barrel revolver? That's a big question. Why would I get this one instead of say a chief or a little Taurus or something like that. Well, it's plus P rated. You can put hot ones in it without any trouble. It's a 357 Magnum and if you can hang on to this small grip frame, you know, you can put full house 158 grain plus P plus 357 Magnums in it, you know, and for five shots it'd be big medicine on grizzly bears. So, 
That's the advantage to having this kind of gun. One shot is tremendous firepower at close range and you've got five, okay? Four times as powerful as, say, a nine millimeter. So, you know, if you look at it like that, you know, it's firepower equivalent to a 20 shot nine millimeter, you know. It's a real hand cannon. And if you miss, for heaven's sakes, <laughs> if you miss, it sounded like a hand grenade and it's liable to run anybody off. But, you know, for five shots, it's tremendous firepower. Well, there's a little look at the old SP-101 blued. And I like it. I like, I like it in blue. It's the first one I've ever seen that was blued, and I like the look of it. Uh, you know, I like blued guns. I like blued steel and, and wood grips and that sort of thing. It, this gun appeals to me. Well, all right then, that's about the size of the old blued SP-101. Took it out and shot it and tried it out. It doesn't shoot too awful bad. It could shoot better if it had somebody who could shoot better holding it. Uh, I don't shoot handguns as good as I used to. It's catching up with me, you know. Like, take, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me a dollar in the Patreon bucket. If you don't want to do that, I'll keep right on making content for you. Uh, be kind to everyone you meet. Be of good cheer and be a good citizen. Be kind to everyone you meet, but have a plan. All right, then. We'll see y'all.